Okay, to play the machine, you need to pull down on the flipper and you'll pull it down all the way. Hello, Hokum family. Well, we completed the repairs on your machine and I wanted to give you just this quick start on how to set it up and get it running. Um, first thing you want to do is put a few balls into your play tray. And now we'll flip around to the back and take a look at what we need to do there. So we have the lights powered off the transformer, so you can plug that into the wall from our power strip. And when you do, the lights will come on up here in the top. There's two light bulbs. I wired them so that both of them come on because these are the only two lights you have on the machine. And uh, so right now they're on because there's no balls on the top supply tray. Now if we were to pour balls in right now, they would just roll all the way out the machine because it's not locked here. Let me zoom in. Let's take a look at that. So in order to lock it, we're going to need to pull this over to the left and when we do, these white levers will flip down. Okay, now it's in the lock position. Let me just demonstrate if it's not locked. So if we drop a few balls in, you saw them roll past those levers and down through this chute and fall out the bottom. We'll lock it, and we'll drop a few in, and they rolled, a cro uh, rolled across those levers and into the uh, jackpot assembly. Okay, we'll go ahead and put more balls in the tray. Okay, when we put enough balls in there, the light went out. When the balls, the weight of the balls, they activated these levers, they activated this switch, which is what turns the light on and off. Now we'll take the bucket and we'll set it on the bottom below this chute where your one balls come out and this chute where your lost balls come out. The other thing, the most common problem with pachinko machines is the one ball seesaw is in the wrong position. Um, it has two balls in it and it pivots it teeter totters or seesaws back and forth as you get jackpots. If it's in the wrong position then you will never get a jackpot and balls will start to back up in your machine. So you have to reset it so that it's in the correct position and your machine will play, play properly. That seesaw is inside this window. Let me zoom in and show it to you. Okay, it's a piece of plastic behind a couple metal brackets and the way you reset it to the correct position is with this pin right here. I can push it up and as I push it up further it will reset the seesaw. Okay. Now the seesaw is in the correct position. We'll zoom back out. Those are the basics on the back. Now we'll turn it around and we'll be uh, ready to play. And then you'll let it go. The first time you do this, nothing will happen. Actually what's happening is a ball is being loaded into the shooter lane the first time. So now when we do it, the ball that's in the shooter lane will shoot up onto the play field. And the ball shot across and it bounced off of this uh, rebound bumper. Your machine used to have a swing here that um, was nailed down and the reason it was nailed down was because the post had broken off and it couldn't be repaired. Um, but the way it's supposed to work is a ball, if you, if you flip too hard, the ball could hit that swing and actually enter a foul lane, come down here and go inside and get returned to you in the play tray. The reason for that was they wanted to discourage people from just beating the flipper as hard as they could. Um, use a little more skill and pull back gently on the flipper to get it to drop here or pull back a little more, maybe get it to drop here, here, etc. 
Okay, now we're going to flip, I'm going to flip fast, and we're going to see um, lots of balls on the play field. We'll probably see some jackpots with balls going into these pockets, and you'll see both the red and the amber light flash here. This side is purely decoration. A lot of times it looks like there should be lights here, but there aren't on this particular machine there. Okay, so we got a couple jackpots. Um, balls were filling up into your play tray here, and when the play tray gets full, they back up and overflow into your overflow tray. So when this tray is full, and uh, or if the lights came on and you need to refill your supply tray, you can slide this lever over to the left, and the balls from this tray will flow down into this tray. Now the second most common problem with these machines is people not letting go of the flipper fast enough. They may pull down and slowly let up. All that did was load an extra ball in the shooter lane and it didn't shoot it all the way out. So if I do it now, uh, it may or may not have enough power to launch both balls out on the play field. Your machine probably will. So um, it, it did launch because um, your spring is really good. The, um, uh, if someone does it a whole bunch of times, you'll eventually get a, a ball jam. And uh, if that happens, you'll need to take care of that. And a lot of that stuff is covered in our instruction DVD. Well, thanks so much, Holcomb family. I hope you enjoy your pachinko machine.